the Australian Open Championship trophy, the Daphne Ackhurst trophy. Time. So back in 1990, I believe we played Steffi Groff in that final. But this is the first time in a Grand Slam final for Mary Jo Fernandez, and I guess she's got uh, butterflies uh, particularly. I went out there not with a lot of belief. Steffi was pretty dominant at the time. It is, in fact, Steffi Graf's 12th consecutive Grand Slam final, and she's won eight out of the last 11. It's not bad going, is it? Went out there hoping, you know, to give her a match, but never really thought I could win. Well, she's nailed Graf a couple of times that the champion has come to the net. 15 all. And I think I lost the first set 6-1. And then I got up a break in the second. I was up 4-1. Well, she's rock solid, Mary Jo Fernandez. That was a testing game. She survived, but she leads four games to one, second set. And my former coach, Australian Fred Stolle, was commentating courtside. So Fred will be on the edge of his seat during this match, I'd say. And at 4-1, I think I had a game point, and there was a lob thrown up in the air. I let it bounce, and I missed the overhead. Oh! 15-40. Feel the anguish. Please, ladies and gentlemen. I look over, and Fred's like falling off his chair. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, that must have been a huge point. I'm in big trouble now. And sure enough, I don't think I won another game. I think I lost 6 4. No, oh, that's it. Game, set, match, golf, 6 3, 6 4. A brave effort, a considerable effort by uh, Mary Jo Fernandez to lead 4 1 the second set. At the end of the day, what separates one from two and two from five and five from 20 is the mental side. The, the players that are able to, to produce their best tennis when it matters most are the ones that end up winning, and that's not easy. The National Tennis Center, Flinders Park, Melbourne. Ladies singles final. Monica Sellers leading three games to love. Ladies and gentlemen, find a seat quickly, quickly, please. Seats quickly, please. Well, it sounds like a, a one-sided match, but it's far from that because Mary Jo Fernandez has had game points in every game. That time I, I felt I had more belief because I had played her the year before in the semis and had a match point and didn't get it. So I went into that final thinking, okay, I can play with her, I can, I can hang and, and have an opportunity, but she was too good. Oh, Mary Jo Fernandez trying everything possible and still not able to win the point. I just remember not knowing which ground stroke to hit into. She had two hands on the forehand and the backhand, and if you didn't hit it really, really well, she hit winners. Oh, she's got the winner. Unbelievable. Very few unforced errors. So I don't think I played badly, but I, I was outplayed. She was definitely way better than me that day. Game set, match Sellers. Two sets to love. 6-2, six, 6-3. Six, Monica Sellers emerging again as the champion. Second year running, her fifth. Grand Slam Championship in 18 months. Unbelievable. Oh, there's been a lot of changes since I started playing at Melbourne Park. I think the court surface, number one, I played on the rebound ace. The facility's gotten bigger and better, and it's just a world-class venue. Mary Jo Fernandez acknowledges the crowd, and they applaud warmly as she leaves the center court arena never having been able to clinch a final in two occasions that she's been here on the last day. So I've enjoyed playing here, and now I enjoy so much coming back as a, as a commentator. It's my favorite trip of the year.